I'm Nancy Silverton. I'm the founder of La Brea Bakery and co-owner of Osteria and Pizzeria Moza in Los Angeles and Orange County and Singapore. And I'm here to answer questions from the Serious Eats community. From Wet Dog 2, what are your feelings about the no need bread making method? Are there qualitative differences that should steer us away from it? You know, to be perfectly honest, I've never made a no need to need loaf of bread before, but I have definitely had several successes from novice bread bakers and I've had terrific, terrific bread. For me, when I think of any food product, the most important test is the result, right? And how you got there is uh, sort of incidental, you know? I have my ways of getting there and the no need bread gets so many similar results in a different method. Basically what Jim Leahy, who came up with this method of making bread, and he's a fantastic, fantastic baker and I love all of his breads. He tested the idea of combining flour and water and leavening, right, what would go in a basic loaf of bread, and just stirring it and letting it sit for a long time so that it would develop the characteristics that are similar to a loaf of bread that is needed for a bit to develop the gluten that would lead to the structure that was uh, in the final loaf of bread. And he did it. I mean, his bread is terrific and I see no differences in the loaves that he makes and loaves that follow a more traditional method of developing the gluten by kneading.